lecture i am going to discuss about how to connect mariadb with pycharm so first here opening the hdsql then you can see that so mariadb that selected here mariadb then host name that is localhost this is the user and the password port here 3305 if uh, my sql that didn't install in your laptop then Port can be of uh, MariaDB 3306. Okay, so it can be 3306 or here I am using 3305. And if I click on this open, then it's successfully connected. This is the list of databases are available. Now, uh, thereafter, opening the PyCharm. So, you need to use the PyCharm professional version, then you can connect here. So thereafter or uh, this place you need to click. So here you can see this is the database. If that not displays, you need to click on this database. Then you need to go on this or uh, plus then data source and here you need to select the Maria TV. So here you can see this list of information, but or uh, that lecture about Maria TV. So here you can see this is the MariaDB, select that and uh, here you need to give the meaningful name. So at the rate MariaDBCon. Thereafter localhost, that's fine. Here you need to give the port name 3305 and giving the username and giving the password and after that click on this download the one file is now downloading and uh, the file is now downloading then after here test connection you need to click this so it's successful after that, if you want, then you can uh, click there to get some uh, database. So this is the list of database you can connect any one of this. So I will do it later. Click on this OK. Then after you can see MariaDB it's processing here. You need to click this. Then after click there, then you need to select the all schemas. All schema that all selected here select it's now processing and you need to wait till process is complete here after you can see or uh, here a schema this all that's come there my sql here this has 18 tables my sql has 13 one view and here this is 80 table 81 table okay so after that here this is now or uh, tables are if I click on this file, then you can see this is the info. So I think uh, so many tables are, or uh, two tables was so uh, uh, blank. Now here you can see this is the columns detail of the tables. So this is how we can connect MariaDB with the PyCharm. So I hope guys this video is the helpful for you. So now this video is over. So thanks for watching. See you next week. Thank you.